You may have noticed that Minnesota Fighting Vikings OTAs were just a little bit different this year. Noticeably, the introduction of the soft-shelled rugby helmets that are so hot right now. Adam Thielen, Detroit Lakes enthusiast, Mankato State University Community College alum, went on the Pat McAfee show last week and discussed their introduction as well as changes to OTA this year. He said this, quote, We just had conversations with Coach Zim and just tried to find a mutual ground to say, hey, we want to be there, we want to get work in, but we also want to be smart, not banging skulls in June and in May. So what we did was put those weird looking helmets on and everyone was live except for O-line and D-line and secondary and wide receivers not hitting during practice anyways. Took our helmets off so we couldn't hit. And then he followed up later. When you had the face mask on, I don't care what coach says, the tempo gets ramped up, end quote. And he's right. When the helmet is on, these guys are all alphas and they will mix it up. But if you have that you know, diaper helmet on, you can still get in all the work, but just a little bit less chance of collision injury because of too much testosterone. Plus, you notice when he talked about, oh, not banging skulls in June and May. I don't think that came out of nowhere, right? And you did see around the league, uh, uh, veterans without signing bonuses, uh, without workout bonuses, uh, rather, uh, collectively getting together and their teams sitting out portions of OTAs. Contact w was one of the main issues. So, hmm, 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 maybe Doth protests too much here. And there has been a change. Like, Zimmer cut practices early and even sent everyone home from final mini camp a day early. And he's done that at times before since becoming Vikings head coach in 2014. But it, it does seem like a newer, softer side of Zimmer. I don't know. Maybe becoming a grandpa will do that. But maybe he sees that this is a team full of veterans this year and it's more important to keep bodies fresh and morale high, especially with a 17-game season, as opposed to if you have a team full of young guys you just want to every single rep mm. and if that's true i respect zim a lot for him starting to evolve and we're just spitballing here where last year with the pandemic 2020 you had so many young players taking over veteran spots and, and rookies coming in and these guys needed to buy into the zimmer system and just get acclimated as soon as possible but because of the pandemic no rookie camp no otas no preseason no nothing so maybe Maybe at the start of training camp, Zimmer tried to go a little bit too ham to make up for some lost time. And a byproduct of going too live too early could have been, again, could, could, hypothetically could have been the Daniil Hunter tweak in practice. We talk about practice, man. Uh, not saying that one led to the other or they're connected in any way, but logically you could see how it could end up that way, right? Now, if the Vikings were working with those diaper helmets and were less live last year, would Daniil still have been fine? I guess we'll never know. But you do lessen the chance of those freak accidents when you don't really need to. Like, you're not going to have that attrition early on when you're just banging up against each other. And guys will be happier. Legs will be less heavy as you get to the season. And it might be the 11 herbs and spices secret recipe for Zim this season. And I respect that, hey, if he's starting to change his mind, I'm not be all Bear Bryant, Tom Berenger, Junction Boys on the bit. Yes. Yes, they could get it done in 2021. Uh, beer thoughts. Feeling on Mac if you talking about OTAs, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most support that work. Post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.